Hey guys, Lego PC back with you guys for a, another awesome video. Haha! <laughs> uh, feeling a lot better. Um, but this is going to be a real quick one. I'm not even going to go over any of that stuff. Uh, if you guys haven't seen my Smoke Tech RSBT hybrid review, then what the fuck are you doing? Go down there and click that first because this is going to make a lot more sense if you watch that video. Mind you, it is a long video. I know it's a long review. I built it, rebuilt it multiple times, rewicked it. So, anyways. Uh, if you saw that video, you know that had issues with the wicking system and the amount of vapor that was coming out. Now, I have found a way to fix that. Um, and I've just emptied my tank. I went through a whole tank in a couple hours today. Uh, I realized the three and a half mils it holds is not really enough for me. But anyways, regardless, what we're going to do is twist it off real quick. And I'm going to show you the wick. Now, I can't claim credit for all of this. Um, there is a vendor by the name of Nebula Vaping, I believe, and he had a Smoke RSBT preview. And in his preview, he showed how he could hit it at 20 watts nonstop, and he literally would never get a burnt hit. And I'm like, then what the fuck am I doing wrong? So I played with it, and I saw that he had no wick showing out his holes. And I was like, well, that doesn't make any sense. How does he, how does he do that? So what we're going to do is... We're going to take our wick and we're going to run it down the insides of the holes. Now I'm going to zoom up and show you what I mean by that. So what we're going to do is run the wick. I'm just going to zoom up on this because I don't want to block the light. Okay. So we've got our wick down here. And what you're going to see is before is I had the wick going out the channels. And you're going to see now I don't. Okay. Let's get some light down in here. So now the wick is inside I have the wick going straight down inside in front of the channels and what that does is the juice is going to go straight in and collect right into the channels okay see how that's wicked everybody see that so there's no wick going outside the channels okay so what this technically does is is the juice is going to consistently flow down into the channels okay it's going to come down here and it's going to drop in and when it drops it's going to load up into this cotton right here kind of like a cave one style where it travels up with one full channel now no longer are you restricted to just getting juice right here you the whole juice channel is going to be dumping juice into this cotton now there's two things one you are going to have chances of flooding. I like to run it wide open at about 19 watts is what I did all day the last two days. Um, no issues. Uh, if, unless I was really chain vaping. I mean chain vaping at 10 second pulls. Then I was having dry, a couple of dry hits. But otherwise, this thing has no issues. Um, and that probably could have something to do with... Um, I also don't have a, a whole mess of cotton here. I was using really light cotton because of the fact that I had wicking problems with this. So if I put a thicker piece of cotton, I probably would have less of a time with the, um, with the dry hits. Second thing is when you are not using this and the device can turn or move side to side, you got to make sure you close the air holes off. Because if you don't, it will leak. When it leaks to the side like this and juice is flowing in, it's bound to lose some down the, the air hole, which is going to leak out your air holes. So I had no problems yesterday when it was sat, sitting flat constantly on my proto vapor. It would just sit down there and had no issues. Well, in the car ride to work today, I hadn't thought about anything. And it was in my cup holder going back and forth. Next thing I know, I get to work and I've lost a little bit of juice and the whole top of my proto vapor was wet. I was like, ah, son of a bitch. So it leaked all over the place. So we're going to, I'm going to show you the vapor difference. We're going to fill the tank up. And see, what I noticed is when I was watching his talk about the smoke tech, he didn't do a build or anything, but he showed this. And I was like, wait, he doesn't have a wick on it. And he starts vaping away. And I'm like, what is going on? And that's when I figured out that's how to wick the RSPT. Because I had all but given up on this guy. I was probably just going to go ahead and throw him with the scrapes and everything else that I don't use anymore. So um, luckily that's not the case. I'm going to be using this guy. I actually like him a lot more than my fogger right now. Huge more. Huge amount more. Um, the only issue is it does not hold a lot of juice. Uh, mind you, the juice I've been vaping on the last two days is 100% VG. I'm using 100% VG from Mount Baker Vapor Mood, uh, Blue Moo, Moo Juice. Um, 
I had this juice in 12 milligram, just like I do the Velvet Cloud, and I can't do it. I can't drip it. I can tank it. That's about it. So what I did is I decided to try it in the tank yesterday, and it worked out fabulous. 12 milligram in a tank is fantastic, um, especially when a tank can hit almost as hard as a dripper. That's just awesome. So we're gonna syringe this guy up again. Make sure you use a syringe. If you don't, you're gonna have juice everywhere. Uh, there was a, uh, a guy who commented yesterday, he said the first time he ever filled it up he did not use a syringe and he found out the hard way. And uh, trust me my friend, I did the same thing I think twice. I was like, oh yeah, well the air holes are closed now, now I can do it. Nope, still doesn't work. So uh, yeah. So we got the syringe in here, we're going to fill her up. Fill her up, 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 fill her up, up, up. I'm All right, beautiful. I did go through three milliliters probably by before lunchtime, and I've been haven't really been vaping all day because uh, I was kind of holding like two drags for the last break, two drags for the way home. I was like I can make it, I can make it because I'm an idiot didn't bring extra juice to work. I have a screwdriver, a syringe at work, cotton, all sorts of stuff, scissors and and uh, whatnot, but I don't have any goddamn extra juice. Uh, story of my life. Um, blue Moo, okay. So, let's spin the top back on here. What I'm gonna do is open up the ear holes. So again, I had them closed because it was in my car. Here, it's pretty juicy in there. Let's unlock it. Let's fire it 18 and a half watts. Uh, it's probably it's VG, so it, heavy VG, so it hasn't probably f fully saturated the cotton yet. Um, we do have a little bit of leaking down here, which is to be expected since I just uh, kind of sucked on it. Check that out, huh? Again, you don't want to chain vape the shit out of it because. You are going to get a dry hit eventually. Hits and tastes like a boss. So, you saw the wicking method. I would recommend that wicking method. Now the key to remember is you want to add a little bit more cotton because otherwise if you don't have enough cotton down there for that well to catch, you're going to end up flooding down below and you're going to have it leaking out the air holes. So I do have a little bit of juice coming out the air holes, very little bit, it's very minor. Again, you can close off the airflow, and then you wouldn't have to worry about it. Uh, just make sure it's constantly standing up. Um, but yeah, great vapor. I've got uh, five holes open. Five, five holes open, we're gonna try 20 watts. I have not tried 20 watts yet. We're gonna give it a shot. We know there's plenty of juice in there, so let's give it a shot. Right? I mean, does your K fund do that? Because mine sure as hell doesn't. Very cool. Um, no dry hit. 20 watts. This thing hits like a boss. So there's your smoke ticker SBT. Wicking, like I said, can make a huge difference. I mentioned in the video that I didn't know if I was doing the wicking properly. And that's how you got a wick. It do not have the excess wick going at the side. You cannot get enough juice onto that wick, and you get dry hits pretty quickly. You can't go hot. That's a hot vape at 20, uh, 20 watts, to be honest with you. I'd probably kick it back down to like 19. Um, you're going to want to put plenty of cotton in there. That way you're not leaking all over the damn place. And make sure you close your air holes off when you're not using it. Otherwise, you will all of a sudden look down and be like, oh, shit, I'm out of juice. So... That's all I got for you. Like I said, real quick video. Uh, I am feeling a lot better uh, the last few days, so uh, I might do another review this weekend. I'll let you guys know. It's my brow shower this weekend, so I got a lot of stuff going on. Um, what I want to do is probably show out the uh, Veritas, which I've got on the IPB. Um, 33 watts at 1.4. Smoking that pink cloud, well, vaping that pink cloud. So that'll probably be coming up soon. 
Uh, we'll do a craft vapor review on the four new juices I got. I haven't tried all of them, only two. Um, but we'll do uh, some talk about that and do I think the subscription is still worth it? Do I plan on continuing to use it and whatnot? So um, that's what I got for you guys. Uh, till then, till later, till sometime in the future. Jim says peace.